Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana, and today we are having a party. A little break to celebrate the birthday of our triplets. They're the children of our best friends. Uh, Cassie actually organized this little party, but Savannah did most of the decorating. So I was just telling you guys in a few parts ago that we had this big space downstairs that we could utilize for parties and stuff like that and uh, the triplets are aging up very soon it's that time they oh my god they're gonna be kids three kids i wonder if miko's ready for that and um, i couldn't actually age them up for whatever reason um even when i made it a birthday party it was just not able to like we weren't able to put candles on it so we're just going to throw a birthday party because the girls have to work in the weekend and that's when the the toddlers are having their birthdays so because we can't attend uh we decided to throw our own little birthday party for the toddlers and just spend some time with them and we invited salem because i think that salem and miko could become real good friends they don't really know each other that well yet so maybe we can um turn that around in this little part just um kind of flirt with salem a little bit thank him for coming here we're so happy to see him and i know it's a little bit odd you know i mean just think about it it's, it's a little bit odd like we invite him over to a party with these toddlers and like i don't i i don't think we are ready we're at that kid stage yet so to see someone as young as miko having triplets and i don't know you know what i mean like we obviously know the toddlers so it's a little easier for us to come by and to be okay you know be fine around the toddlers not be awkward knowing how to properly interact with i think that salem might just be a little awkward around children because he's just not used to it like he's not used to it at the moment he just thinks to himself like oh my god what am i supposed to do kids make me uncomfortable they're gonna cry they don't like me he's just like not at that stage yet he's not ready for kids totally not ready and i don't think any of us is actually really ready like we're more career driven and i think salem is just I don't really know Salem that well yet, but I think he's also more career driven at this point. That Miko, where oh, there's Miko. I think that Miko is, you know, obviously more family oriented. This is so cute. I think that the girls are gonna become such good parents. I don't know. There's this whole vibe about the two girls. It just screams to me like I am too young to have a kid. And I think when you look at Miko, you just feel like she is that one person. Oh my god, this is what? What? Wait, that was the end of her party? Oh my gosh, okay, that was to <laughs> I, I suck. I totally messed that party up. Oh my god. But I seeing everyone, uh, despite that this party didn't exactly turn out to be like what I thought it was gonna be. Ask her about her day a little bit, and uh, we don't click the best. I think that our personalities are very far off. You have such a nice, you know, relationship with this girl. We are really growing together, and like I said, we clash because we don't really match. Looks like we're going to bed while uh, the rest is staying up. So that's oh sure. Wow, we have a lot of laundry to do doing my laundry i i don't know what to say it looks like arian is waking up cassie which is actually kind of cute so let's see if we can oh he's, he's waking up savannah as well oh no doors is running away <laughs> Dor doors. stronger bond than perhaps savannah does with the kids Ooh, oh my god we really 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 need to pee and our pet ran away and i'm feeling rather sad about it i think in all the commotion of yesterday I didn't realize I left the door open and now our cat is missing. So I'm posting an alert so people can look out for my kitty and hopefully they're gonna find them soon. Now talking about kitties, I have two newly <laughs> newly evolved. Oh my god, we can water let's water with tears. Let's be extra and do that much. Okay, so Frankie is current oh my god. Frankie's so big. Look at that. Frankie turned into like this bad version of Savannah. And then we have Whopper who, you know, actually, not, not, not looking at it, Whopper looks like he is the, like the sister, the cousin, the brother, the mother of Betty. Though I know it's impossible because this is the child of Savannah and Doris, but still, it almost looks like it could be better sister. <laughs> like, it's so funny how these cats somehow all kind of are related to one another. 
uh, we do have to clean up this mess from the party, so I better start doing that. Speeding through the last few parts a little bit because Seasons is coming out, and as you know, I want to use his family for the Seasons Let's Play. So I am going to wrap an end to it, and it may seem a little hasty. It may seem a little, you know, a little maybe incomplete, maybe a little, like I said, just, just hasty. But I promise you it's only because I need to kind of wrap an end to it, and I don't want it way too long with it because I really do want to you know, go through seasons with them. I have this storyline in mind and I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to be fun, but I absolutely love this family and there is so much potential in them. And I really want to bring further this independent woman situation where we don't need no man. You know, we are the boss. We are boss ladies. We are king as a woman. And I really want to further it along through seasons. Also because every time I make a new family and I just like, oh, I don't want to. So I think there's a lot of, a lot of different things that we can still experience with these two ladies so i really 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 want to bring that further into seasons because i just don't care about making the families anymore so yeah we're gonna kind of speed through it not too fast not too slow but we're definitely going to speed things up just a little bit just for the sake of seasons cassie has been working on the streets no no not like that not like that she has been keeping it appropriate child appropriate She's been singing around the corner, selling her herbs to local farmers. She's been literally trying her hardest to raise some money. And she has made roughly around 4k herself. The rest is just her income and Sylvana's income kind of mixed together. Because they have been working, of course, um, in the midst of all this planning. And uh, Cassie is kind of breaking it to her. She's feeling... I just think she's feeling rather under the weather. This would have been the perfect opportunity to tell Savannah what and how, but she feels like this may not be the perfect opportunity since she's not feeling very well at the moment. She's feeling quite hot. Where talking is not for me. I just can't get out of my words. I can't get over the damn information that I want to, and I keep on babbling, and uh, it's just not working for me today. I'm so. I'm sorry for, yeah, if you can notice, by, I'm, I'm pro I'll probably edit it all out, but uh, if you can tell, <laughs> it's not going great. The girls are having a heated argument about Cassie's little plan. Savannah understands what Cassie did, and she might seem very ungrateful, but she can't just quit her job right now. Very unappreciated right now, feeling like she did all this for Savannah, made sure that she had enough money to afford to just do nothing for a while, to just relax, get her facts straight, figure out what she wants in life, and then continue on. She has a great jump start. She has 8k and there's more money incoming soon. And she's just like, girl, like, I did all of this for you and you don't even seem appreciated. And Savannah is appreciative, of course she is, but right now she has the biggest headache and she is just not in the mood for it and now she's also rather mad but the fact that Cassie doesn't seem to have the understanding for Cassie and I think this is like one of those moments where both of them are right both of them have their opinions but it's just like a really 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 bad moment to explain all of this to try and get you know some sort of mm, some sort of agreement between this I also think that the time has come closer and closer for the girls to kind of split and I don't know, move on their ways. I don't think the girls are going to be living together forever and especially now that, you know, Savannah is decorating and, you know, renovating this own... What the, what the heck is the mirror doing up here? <laughs> now that Savannah has like her own little space. I don't think there is room for Cassie here, you know they grew up together but they are let me check let me check just exactly they have roughly 38 days until aging up which is roughly you know like let's just say like a few years to go before they are fully matured and i think it's time for the girls to kind of break the ties and to move out on their own but then of course it's going to happen in season so not yet but they will be you know spreading their wings and um both going their individual ways which i'm really excited for also kind of like worried i know it's kind of scary i think because they've been together for so long like i don't even know what they are who they are without each other because they rely on each other as much as they like hate each other sometimes they really do rely on each other a lot trying to work out i missed leg day last week and everyone knows you never skip leg day i can totally use a spotter who's the actually tech oh interesting salem is actually wanting to hang out and exercise with savannah right now huh 
I don't really know. Why don't I just say this is like random and weird, but Salem wants to hang out with us. I'm having an argument with Cassie. Why the heck not? Yeah, it's such a good healthy lifestyle of cooking every day and taking care of ourselves and trying to look as good as we do. And now we kind of just wear the same old clothes. We only work and work and work and work, come home and talk and work and eat popcorn all day. Like that's not who I am. And I think this whole stress with the work and trying to figure out what she wants is Driving, driving her further and further away from who she really is. Are you working out with me, Salem? Or are you just doing push-ups? This guy does not look like he actually worked out a day in his life. Like he, he honestly doesn't look like he works out whatsoever. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't want to be mean, but um, you, you don't look like it, Salem. An opportunity for Salem. Maybe he's actually trying to like ask her something. Like, hey, I um. I'm thinking of um, proposing to Cassie. What do you think? Is this the perfect time or not? I told you he was planning something. Did I not tell you he was planning something for a while? And I came, kept coming over, making suggestions and stuff like that. I think Savannah's kind of shocked. And I was like, mm, I don't know about that. I don't think Cassie is right. Oh, Cassie's right. Cassie is ready yet. And I think it's kind of taking a step back and thinking like, really? You don't think she's ready yet? You don't think she'll say yes? And I think Savannah is like saying, yeah, I think she would say yes, but I don't think she's ready right now. I think that she is still looking for herself as much as I'm looking for me. And I think unless we both have our dream job, we will never be satisfied and you know wanting to spend our time with someone else and giving our attention to someone else i think that we want to spend our time on ourselves and just just marriage is just not on our priority list right now and that he wants them to happen rather soon and they haven't been together for a long long time like don't get me wrong it's not too short either to get married but I think for Cassie's standards, even Savannah's standards, it's all happening a little too fast. Commitment is a big deal for both of the girls and especially, especially for Cassie. She's going through now, right now, right now, careers is really important to Cassie and you don't want to push her away by being too, too obsessive and too controlling and too nitpicky about the things that she does and how little time she spends with you. Cassie is a loner. She loves being alone and she loves to work hard on the things she's doing. So really do don't fuss about it. Wait, she will let you know when she's ready for it. And if you really like her, you're not going to pressure her anyway. You're going to be together forever. So it doesn't matter if you wait a little longer or not. It's meant to be, it's meant to be, dude. This is such a cute little, <laughs> little thing. This is the time where Salem also kind of tells her and lets her know, like, hey, I, have you thought about your career yet? Have you thought what you want to do with your life? And Savannah is probably saying that like, she has no clue and that she doesn't know what to do with her life and that she feels like she owes it to all these people to keep doing what she's doing without actually making her own, you know, path in life. Okay. And Salem is like, goodbye girl, it's 6 a.m. Gotta go to work. I just need an opinion of someone that's not directly close to you. I want to be the boss of my own life and that despite that I really am grateful for him taking me in after losing my way that I have figured out what I want in life right now and that, you know, being in the business is not what I want. I don't know what I want yet. I have no clue what I want in life. But I want something that I can't find here. I want something that I can't accomplish by working for others. I want something that only I can accomplish. Something only I can do. And whatever that is, I don't know. And I don't know how long it's going to take me to get there. But I know that when I do get there, it's going to be super rewarding. And it's going to be something that only I can do. So. And that is the story on how Savannah found herself. <laughs> lol anyway uh yeah that's that was it i'm going to thank you guys for watching and i'm gonna thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next part bye guys